Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can create tape stop effects in Logic Pro X. For those of you that don't know what a tape stop is, it's basically an effect that sounds like somebody put their finger on a record and starts to slow down. It's used in a lot of uh, like hit songs nowadays and it's definitely a dope effect uh, to add to your arsenal and use in your beats. Um, you know, for, for the most part, when I use it, I use it, uh, you know, in the, in an intro, for example. So you have like a four or eight bar intro, and then you have the tape stop come in right before like the hook drops or, or the drums, uh, come in. So, um, let's go ahead and, uh, create a four chord, uh, four bar structure really quick here. I'm going to loop off a four bar section. And um, I've actually shown how to do this in uh, some of my other videos, but I thought it was a good idea to sort of like, you know, highlight this and uh, put it in its own tutorial. And, uh, you know, if you guys have questions, you know what to do, put it in the comments section. All right. So uh, let's get started. Let's just record a quick four chord progression and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So let's see here. All right. All right. I'll do something like that. And uh, let's get recording. As you see here, the last uh, last one I dragged out a little bit. I'm going to actually uh, make that a bit shorter. Okay, I'm going to select all by hitting Command A on the keyboard, so everything in the MIDI section down here is selected, and then hitting Q to quantize. All right, and uh, let's listen to that for uh, one second without the tape stop right now. Alright, that works for me. So uh, one thing I want to mention is that you cannot actually uh, create a tape stop effect on MIDI notes. You're going to have to bounce this first in place. For those of you that you know use Logic, you guys know how to bounce uh, MIDI sections into place. It's really simple. All you got to do is select your uh, MIDI region here, right click it, and then uh, say bounce in place. Okay. Now in these parameters, what I like to, uh, to do is to keep uh, the source. So the source should be on leave. Uh, by default, it is on mute. Okay, so that, that will actually mute the MIDI section out and then just leave the other section out. I would just, like I said, keep it on leave, okay? So you can, if you want, you can go back and make changes to your MIDI section and then bounce it and place it again. Um, name it if you want. I'm just going to leave it by default here. It's going to uh, be a new track and uh, all the other stuff, like, for example, normalizing, I usually turn off. Uh, and then I include the end tail. All right, so I'm going to click OK, and it's going to bounce this in place. All right, that's pretty fast. And uh, all right, next thing, I will mute this section here because I'm not working on it anymore. Um, and if I do want to go back to it, obviously I can unmute it and uh, continue working on it. So we have this new section here, so let's take a listen to it real quick. As you can see here, that last part is a little bit loud, but that's fine because we're going to add a tape stop effect to it and it's uh, going to take away from some of that volume. I'm going to bring the volume down just a tad and uh, turn off my metronome and my countdown. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is select my fade tool. So from this drop down menu right here, I'm going to select the fade tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see a little bit better. And let's go ahead and zoom that in a bit like that. Okay. And now what we'll do is create the tape stop. So what I'm going to do is click command on my keyboard and then click and drag over this section right here. Okay. As you can see, it, it sort of builds a box around it, right? I'm going to go about halfway to this like so. What it's going to show is sort of like a fade out, right? What we're going to do next is right click this section and hit slow down. Okay. Now let's listen to this with, uh, with these uh, parameters and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so you can see that tape stop effect already took place, and uh, I'm going to show you what else you can do to this tape stop to make it a little more interesting. You know, depending on the beat, um, you might want to have the tape stop uh, start faster uh, or start slower. So what you could do is hit command on your keyboard, and you get this little uh, right and left tool, as I like to call it. I'm not sure what it really is called, but um, that sort of you know sums it up, I guess. And you can then click and drag, and you can see how this changes, right? So 
I'm going to go ahead and click it up like this. And what's going to happen now is it's going to start slower and end faster. All right, so I'll bring the uh, play ahead position right here and uh, just play off that section. All right, now we can do this reverse too. We can have the fade out uh, or the slowdown happen faster. So I'm going to go reverse in this uh, direction. So that happened a lot faster. So depending on the beat and you know what you're building, you're going to have to experiment with this and see what sounds best. Uh, another thing you could do, I'm going to just bring this back to the original position. And another thing that you could do is actually um, change when this uh, tape stop starts. So you can drag this. I'm hitting command on my keyboard and then using the mouse again, clicking and dragging this, making it longer, making it shorter. All right, I'm going to make this longer a little bit and then um, have it start faster. So bow it like that. Okay. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. All right. You can also, again, go reverse. And as you can see, that sounds different, right? All right. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for a tape stop effect. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name's CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.